going on everyone welcome rabbit here and i want you guys to come here for a second follow my finger come here come here check this out guys i gotta show you something this is really strange weird but totally freaking awesome anyway i'm just gonna open this up for a quick second here a little dusty on top oh it hurts so i'm gonna open it up look at that you see that rgb lights yeah fans are spinning that's an absolutely insane, beautiful sight. What does that mean? I have my GPU mining rigs turned on and they're actually profitable. Yeah, that's right. You heard that. Uh, they're actually profitable right now. So yes, I am mining Carlson. You guys are probably aware about that. Caspa, I only have my fans at 50%. I could probably turn them down a bit more. If you were mining Caspa early GPU mining days, which actually wasn't even that long ago because ASICs hit pretty darn fast here but it doesn't use much power which also means not much heat which means you don't need to run your fans crazy high and waste any extra power so i am at 50 percent probably tweak it down i'm around 50 to 60 degrees celsius in there 50 percent fans we've got blinky lights we got octominer signs on this is pretty amazing i got the x12 up and running and i am gpu mining at a profit so regal miner just put out an update and it looks like they can mine carlson as well but as you can see my power is jumping all over the place so i don't know is that happening to you guys you guys noticing that it's jumping all over i was on lol miner previously and it was pretty stable but regal miner seems to be bouncing around quite a bit here i don't really like that you know voltage spikes whatever's going on there i'm not sure but lol miner was stable but it did have a little bit less hash rate so how much are these actually making i'm not 100 percent sure we're gonna go look at my spreadsheet and some calculators here to see what things are looking like but off the top of my head i think we're around 15 16 dollars a day on these 12 gpus in here you know i got some a2000s uh four or five 3060 ti's a 3070 there's a 3080 in there so whatever all that is to equal up to 12. so i'm a little over a thousand watts i think a thousand eighty or something i did the math earlier it works out to be about 87 watts per gpu for this whole system running obviously the fans are using some a2000s are using a lot less power than the 3080 and vice versa and all sorts of crazy stuff but it's about an average between all this of 87 watts per rig a little over a thousand watts there it is at 12 cent per kilowatt hour because i am using more power so my power goes up a little bit about three dollars a day so i do think we're around 15 to 16 dollars obviously it's nothing major nothing like ethereum nothing like all my g our cpus and stuff we're doing over there all these things over here they're well over 120 or something a day here uh, but I got quite a bit of CPUs happening there. But over here, you know, I think we're around 15 to 16. So let's jump to the workstation, see what Carlson is currently making me. I even got my freaking 3090 in my workstation mining away. This thing has not mined any crypto for a very long time. Well, ever since Ethereum, ever since it went POS, that thing has been shut off. But let's take a look at some stuff. All right, so I am in the Hero Miners dashboard here. I'm about 12.83 giga hash between my Octominer one in my workstation with the 3090 163.49 coins a day is what hero miners is telling us and about actually 19 dollars and 21 cents per day so that's actually pretty good we're almost 20 dollars a day here gpu mining with 12 g uh, i guess 13 gpu so not too bad obviously it's not the best but it's better than nothing again my power bill is only like three dollars canadian per day so it just dropped down to 18 dollars i'm start you know by the time I'm done this video, I might be in the negatives here, so I got to cut right now and stop because it's before it's, you know, all gone. I'm just kidding, guys. Things are looking good. Anyway, I'm going to jump into the spreadsheet, and we're going to do some of my manual numbers based on all the current network conditions and see what things are looking like from this point forward. All right, so we're looking at the current network conditions. We're both 339 terahash on the network now. I believe that yesterday it was 200, so we saw another 100 terahash gain. Now, it does sound like an FPGA bitch stream has emerged but i don't know if it's public or yet or if it even is released from the private side but there is testing going on for fpgas there are a couple devs working on that so that could be a cause of some of this hash rate but there is a lot of gpus out there look at the coin look at this five hundred seven thousand dollars per day that this coin is paying out that is huge that's a massive amount which we'll look at that in a minute we can see the price is up to a little over 11 cents you know not too long ago it was only four cents i believe dj mines at four cents bought a thousand dollars worth as a gamble he 
doubled up. Oh, he's almost tripled his money now on this, and he's probably going to wait for the bull run. We'll see what happens, but grats to him for taking the gamble, and it's definitely paying off for him, so that's awesome here. But yeah, looking at this hash rate, 346 tera hash, 11 cents, uh, 11.8 cents, I guess. So let's just update this calculator, 346, so 349. Let's go 346 here. I got the 11.7 there. So yeah, it's about at 12 giga hash yeah $17.52 is what this rig is currently mining right now in terms of fiat value and then who knows what's the future is going to hold because it hit 50 cents could it hit a dollar I know we're all pumping behind Caspa there's forks happening there's going to be more Caspa forks are they going to gain hype who knows let's find out there's rumors of another Caspa fork already released but I can't remember the name of it so we'll see what happens there but crazy stuff is going on in the GPU mining world profitability is slow slowly coming back. All right, so now let's look at the emissions and why the emissions are a big deal. I think I said emissions there, but I did mean emissions. So emissions is this is the amount that this coin is paying to its miners every 24 hours, which is determined by the amount of blocks found per day and then the price of the coin and the block reward per block. Yeah, obviously here we got Bitmain is in first place at $36 million. We got Caspa is now in second place. This is the second largest coin Pain miners. Obviously, no reason those Caspa ASICs are still making or the top of the list in ASICs because this coin is the second largest coin under Bitcoin now. Caspa is getting huge here. We're at a $3 billion market cap. It's paying $1.85 million per day. Dogecoin is sitting at 1.3, and now we have the new Carlson at 507,000. That is a massive deal for GPU miners because this can absorb a lot of hash rate, soaking up some from the other coins like Ravencoin and other things out there, and then dropping some hash rates on other coins. Again, we are still nowhere near where Ethereum was. In theory, even Ethereum at the peak of the bull run was paying more than Bitcoin is right now. That's crazy to think of. In the bear market, Ethereum was paying just prior to the merge around 21 to 24 million dollars so way more than every one of these top coins combined so we're still nowhere near those levels yet we don't have a major coin to absorb the hash to make the other coins extremely profitable again but we are getting somewhere we're still at the tail end of the bear market it'll be interesting to see what happens in this bull market but having another coin that's absorbing five hundred thousand dollars worth of Payouts to miners is a big deal, and that's why we're starting to see profitability slowly come back, at least until we see a lot of big major GPU farms coming out of China or something start turning back on. We could run into some major issues and be back in the negatives, even though things are looking good and going up, but we'll have to wait for that to happen. But right now, GPU mining is profitable, again, depending on your power price. All right, guys, so there we have it. Just a quick little video, but I'm very excited and very happy. I don't know if you can tell by my voice or not but my gpus are finally running and they're finally profitable now i got a lot of things i still got to do around here like i got the x5 turned off obviously it did have a recent firmware update but no it can still no longer mine or never have been able to mine zep so it's still only for xmr there was a lot of talk about possible firmware coming in december i'm assuming this is the one because it is december and that firmware just released yesterday but it did not get any Zeph support. So I don't know if there's gonna be another one coming. The interesting thing is inside of there, even though it was published on their website yesterday, the firmware is from November 8th. So it's still a month old. That doesn't, so that means Bitmain could have firmware for December 8th and they won't release it till next month. And maybe it is capable of Zeph at that time. We'll have to wait and see if that's a conspiracy theory. We'll see what happens. But you know, I got a lot of stuff going on. I maxed out on power here. I got a bunch of my Apollo miners I got to send away for hosting. Over here, I do, I'm maxed out over here as well at 6,000 watts. I'm over the 80% limit. This isn't even on. Uh, oh, I thought there was a bunch of dust in there, but that's just see through stuff. So this isn't even on, but I'm sending this away for hosting. My two jazz miners over there will be going away for hosting. Um, that's going to stay on E300. I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. These are not ROI'd yet, but maybe they will soon. That has a red light on. When it gets warm, sometimes that happens. I reboot it, it's gone. But I've just been running it for the past four days with the red light on. It's mining just fine, so I'm just letting it go. So I might send those away for hosting when they finally ROI. I don't know how long that is yet. It looks like about I have another 18, 19 days. I'm hoping closer to Christmas. 
but tomorrow the next day is another block reward reduction so it's going to be harder to get that cast but again so yeah all my jazz miners all my apollos and stuff are going to go for hosting that should open up at least another 3,000 watts here and then i'll just have to see what to do from there anyway guys thank you for checking out this video gpus are on gpus are mining and gpus are profitable i will see you on the next one rabbit out